welcome to this week's video. This week, since we are doing mainly digital art, I thought it'd be fun to have a little face-to-face -face with you before the video actually starts. Um, I found this really cool website that does like these sort of like color palettes, and I thought it'd be really fun to take those color palettes, make it into a color palette challenge, and then go from there. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I just really like the, this sort of website, and whenever I see cool things like this, I just have to share with you guys because it can be a useful tool for anyone to use. Since we are doing digital art, I will tell you the tools before we start the video. I am using the Apple iPad 2020 11 inch edition. I actually upgraded this year and I'm also using the Apple Pen second generation and the Procreate. If you do want me to do a digital video where I speak a little bit more about the program Procreate and some like shortcuts that I've learned and tips and tricks, let me know. I know some people are have asked me for that in the past but I just you know since I'm mainly a traditional channel I just thought it'd be really fun to talk about but anyway let me show you the website because it is really really cool and let's get into the video okay so this is the website this is called coolers and as you can see they have an app they have an adobe extension a chrome extension they have a uh, an instagram where you can use like a daily palettes they have an app there's so much that you can do with this just a warning though uh, sometimes the colors do flash a little bit fast so if you do have epilepsy you might want to skip a little bit forward by about 30 seconds um so up on the website as you can see you will take you through a tutorial when you first play through and the colors flash in the background and you can uh, random generate it by pressing the space bar and um, this will randomly select the colors once you like a color you can lock a color and continue through and lock those colors and generate until you get your perfect palette or you can just do what i do click ge generate and keep that palette um and the wonderful thing is you can also uh, use a photo and it will select the main colors in those photos and use that as a palette and it will let you save it as well so i'm just going to show you very quickly here like i'm going to click generate at the top and it will randomly generate me a color palette this is a really nice one i really like this color palette a lot so if i wanted to save it i could log in and save it um, for my own profile i'd actually uh, i'm logged in on the app but i'm not logged in on here but you can log in and you can um save the palette for yourself so that you can have your own collection of it or you can just download the palette it doesn't necessarily need you to download now i do have to mention that the uh, the uh, app does cost a little bit it costs like 2.99 um but if you're using it a lot it does help keep the website supported yet again not sponsored i just think this is really cool and you can scroll down and you can save them in different color spaces so you can have a copic and a prismacolor option which is phenomenal so say that you can then choose the closest prismacolor and it'll be phenomenal and it, it just it blew my mind when i saw that option i do wish it had other options for different like sort of like pens for example i know copic's really really popular but it'd be nice if we had say you know who option or a pro marker option since they are the two of the most recommended on the alcohol marker thingy so here i'm selecting a palette as you can see i've already locked a few colors in and i'm just going through and i'm selecting the colors you can choose a different hue you can choose a different option and it's just it's so cool so the first one i had was this sort of like earthy toned palette i really really liked this so i've been using the palette to inspire the character design and all of these character designs are tieflings because why not and this really made me want to do a sort of druidic style um character i was really thinking very warm tones what kind of character personality would this character have i imagine that they're quite a bubbly quite a fun person and um this is sort of what inspired the entire character design um it was really cool because i was really limited to these colors so i used the darkest color for my outline and because i can't live without an outline but this would be really good like lineless practice as well so if you only wanted to do like a completely lineless uh, palette you could do that as well and it would work so well um i was playing off lot sort of like the druidic vibes that i was going for um keeping like all like leaves and that in his head very very autumnal palette for this character 
Um, I just had a lot of fun colouring this. Um, it was very interesting to play around with such a limited palette in general and I think this one was one of the easiest to blend out of the four that I did. Um, just because I had a really nice dark tone, a mid tone and a light tone so it meant that I had a nice broad range to play off and because we had that deep dark brown mixing in with that orange it just chef's kiss and to be able to create like sort of like mid tones in between what I did was I lowered the brush opacity and coloured with it that way to be able to get the blending that I wanted and also blended the colours using like the blending tool and it was just it was really really fun it was very therapeutic actually because I tend to stick away from um, certain colour tones I find them I, I, and like doing palette challenges like this helps me open up and understand my color choices a little bit better and I ended up having a lot of fun with this um I also did a sort of like rough outline of what the character would look like full body and I did this for all of them I didn't color it in um because this video was already going to take quite a while anyway and I was already spending a lot of time on this video um but it was a rough idea and a concept of what the character was going to look like full body um and plus it gave me a better understanding of the character design in general I think my favourite part of this in overall is the eyes. I just love that one. This one is my favourite. So I generated this palette and I immediately thought of lava and I was like, oh, fiery tieflings. They're some of my favourite. Um, and so ended up doing this design. Um, this is my favourite out of the four. Like the wood palette is a close second but this one is my favorite um i couldn't stop thinking of like the fire and like how the colors would incorporate and you could totally do it where like the colors are flipped where you went from dark to light um but using the darker color for outlining i actually ended up going through later on lowering some of the opacity on like the red brush and like coloring my lines uh, over the top just so i'd get a different variation in line weight anyway um but this is my favorite just because i'm a sucker for this palette in general um it's one of my favorites to do I, I love making lava it just makes me very very happy and i think she might be one of my favorite designs overall but i just really like a strong female uh, tiefling i really like playing strong D, D characters so i think this is why this one in particular like really really sang to me i love her horns as well um i just uh, i think overall this design just makes me very very happy <laughs> um it's her skin it's her patterning and overall just ugh like if i had another color i probably would have used like a teal just to like offset like all the oranges and the yellows but i think this is a really balanced palette and i ended up calling this palette lava and this is what her like sort of like full body looked like i imagine that she'd be like very oh, active and very fun and probably a bit of a stern character as well but i just i i don't know what more i can say i love her so much <laughs> she's just so much fun um and so the complete opposite of that for a very warm palette was a very cool palette so the next palette that i had was this palette that i named deep sea and it had a range of blues to white and this is really important to have like a nice dark color and a light color in a palette because it means that you can have a nice tonal range all the way through so this is what i like to uh, <laughs> fondly call a seafling where it's a tiefling but deep sea and i imagine that this sort of character looked very sweet very bubbly and that's sort of what the design sort of took on from there it's amazing what can massively influence your character i find that colors really influence my character's design and character choices and i this one is another is like my, probably my third favorite um but i i just really like how her eyes turned out in particular and her horns her horns and her eyes are my favorite her clothing choices could be a little bit more improved i was sort of like really stuck because it was so limited in palette um i think if i was to go back and change this palette i would choose um 
maybe like a green to just like sort of off tone all the blue so that we could have a nice mixture of like a sea foam color in there um just because it's so blue it is so densely blue it just like it, it after a bit i was sort of like struggling trying to try and differentiate the colors um so this was sort of like very kind of difficult to do it wasn't the most difficult um but i I just I liked designing this character. This character design was a lot of fun and I think her full body might be one of my favourites just because she looks so sweet and she has a little coral like tail and oh I'm, I don't know I just like designing characters guys it makes me very happy. I think subconsciously I gave them all hooves as well but I don't tend to give my tieflings hooves and that's why I wanted to give them hooves just because you know i like to sometimes think that sometimes tiefling have normal feet and then sometimes they don't they have like little hooved feet i don't know and this is the most difficult palette of all um so i chose this palette because it is a color palette that i normally do not do and looking back i probably would have chosen a much darker like pinky purple and probably a lighter um like teal towards the end or turquoise the last color um just because the colors are so similar in tone that it was very very difficult to blend and this one her design i love the coloring was really really difficult for me um just because her tones were so similar i just really really struggled but that's the thing that you come to learn when doing these palette challenges what works for you and what doesn't work for you now i know a lot of my art friends who actually use these color tones a lot and i tend to stay clear of very bright vibrant colors and even though these colors are slightly muted it's not normally a palette i would go for and that's why i wanted to do it i wanted the challenge I do think if we had like a very very bright pink or a very very deep purple this palette challenge would have been a little bit be um, better to play around with but just because the tones are so similar I really really struggled um but it was fun overall and that's what i really enjoyed about playing around with the site and the palettes i love a good palette challenge i think they're so much fun to play around with and i really like the fact that they include traditional options on this palette challenge as well because it makes it a lot easier for you if you don't have um like if you don't have digital supplies to be able to do this traditionally as well i would like for them if it was any feedback that i could give if they could give you more traditional options say like i don't know watercolor options they could choose like say the winter and newton palette or choose like a uh, the turner gouache or something like that just something where it would be another tr more traditional aspects in there but overall i am absolutely in love with this i just had so much fun and i can't can't wait to create more. And that is all four palettes that I did for this video. I definitely will be doing more of these palettes and playing around with character designs because I just love designing characters. I end up having like so many backup D&D &D characters just because I'm like, hey, what if this happens? Um, and that's why I will be um, putting this art up for my Patreon so that they can use or they can play around with the palettes in their own time. This is really something that's really, really fun. And I really, really thought that this website would it's just so cool to play around with like you the possibilities are endless and the fact that you can have like different settings for the colors specifically if you're a copic collector or if you are a prisma color collector the fact that it has those options is pretty impressive and um, i would like them to also include maybe the ohuhu markers or maybe like the Le pro markers in the future just because they are also very popular markers that are in the thing and i personally i don't like copic i don't use copic they aren't for me i don't like brush tip pens but you know to each their own everyone can have their own 
you know, set of things that they enjoy. You'll have to let me know which one of these four is your favorite. It was the blue sea palette your favorite? Maybe the sort of like orange tone palette. Was that one your favorite? Or maybe the lava. I do like the lava girl a lot. I, I have a special place in my heart for that one. And of course the neon palette. That one definitely gave me the most difficulties, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And that's a really good thing about this website. Yet again, not sponsored. Just thought it was a really cool thing that I had to share with you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you are new maybe subscribe if you wish to see more content. I bring out new videos every single Thursday and stream every Sunday. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Keep loving what you do and as always folks stay creative.